Uh, you know they're still no, like I, I can't show you. They've got no, 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 that's the thing. No, you, no, I made a claim. I made a claim. You know they have to do. Listen to me, say me. Uh, no, tell no, me. No, no, show me the corruption. It's simple as that. Show me the I, 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 I said the Bible I've got. I know the same. How many Bible books are there? How many Bible are there? Which one do you believe in? Okay, let's yeah, see. You believe? All saying the same thing. All saying the same thing. Okay, I'll show you. All saying the same thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wrong. All the same. I'm the original. Sorry. Wait, wait, let me show you the corruption there so that you know. Because it seems as if you believe in all this Bible? Okay, I'll show you the corruption. Does this have uh, no, no the omitted, uh, the, um, our, 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 our God is three in one? Oh, King James, yeah? Does it have it? Three, yeah, uh, fourth epistle John, of John 5 7. John 5 7. Right, fourth epistle of John. Fourth epistle of John. Uh, 5 7, yeah. Before we go to any corruption, uh, you, see, you said they're all the same. Let me show you something, madam. You see here, look at this. Revised standard. How many no, no, I know. Let me, let me talk first. You asked, I mean, you said you want me to show you the corruption. Yes. Can you give me five minutes? Yeah. Or, or two one minute? You've got one corruption. Okay. okay. You, oh, okay. sorry. Right. See what sorry. my. See what my. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. For, look, see this? Strong. You see that? No, before you go there, let me show you. You said, uh, you asked me to show you. You see this? This is a revised standard version. Yeah. Yeah. You know what they said about King James Version? Can I read it? Look at this. Yet the King James Version has grave defects. By the middle of the 19th century, the development of biblical studies and the discovery of many manuscripts more ancient than those upon which the King James Version was based made it manifest that these defects are so many. And so serious and so serious as to call for a reversal of the English translation. So according to the revised standard version, 32 scholars, Christian right. scholars wrote this. No, wait, wait a minute. Corruption. Can you see this? Yeah? Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah? And you said they are the same? This one said that King James Version here has got great defects. Do you believe in that? Christian scholars, 32 scholars. Yes. I, I use the, uh, the translation which uses 100 manuscripts. That uses six. Uh, so this is, this is more accurate. But, so this, is, it, no, so this is not accurate. There's no major. Difference. But this is not accurate, then, madam. This one here. You don't believe in King James version. This is what most. No major differences. So no major differences. But this is slightly more accurate because it uses uh, over a hundred uh, manuscripts. That only uses six. That's why I use this. Uh, so this. Most people don't use that one. Majority use that. This. This, uh, this is what people use, uh, not that one. The I know uses a modern translation which uses uh, hundreds of... Uh, mod, mod, modern translation. Okay, let's go to uh, John 3.16. Go to John 3.16. I'm going to show you something. Yeah, for God so all of the world that he gave his only begotten son. Uh, that uh, he gave his one and only son. That is the correct translation. Uh, uh, not begotten then. Which is what we have. Ah, uh, so they got the begotten wrong. Because it was wrong. Uh, the, the so I'll tell all Christians, forget up, don't read John 3.16. Um, Begotten is a fabrication. It's not, it is not uh, significant, uh, but this is a uh, more, uh, more accurate translation. So begotten is? From the Greek. From the Greek? Yeah. Okay, let's go to... One that, unique. It can be begotten, but... You no, no, it, can, it cannot be. More I cannot, you know, just... Um, uh, 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 thank you for clarifying this, because most Christians say Jesus is only ignorant, the only begotten son. They said it, the only begotten. That's right. Uh, it That's is, uh, yeah, uh, the son, son of God, uh, who is the same nature as the Father, uh, he is equal to the Father, so the Father and the Son are equal. No, they cannot be uh, equal, and madam. And they have the relationship with no, the they, it, uh, So, So this is why we describe as Father-Son uh, the, the, the nature uh, and, uh, yeah, the, the same, same, same um, both God. But why, 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 why do you get that from them? Hmm? That they both are co-eternal co -eternal, co -eternal, and they have the same nature. Why do you get that from? Is there anywhere in the, in, the New Te in the Old Testament? No, listen to me, madam. Anywhere in the Old Testament where God said he shared his glory. Anywhere in the Old Testament where God said Let's, that another God. Would you like to listen I'm listening. to Isaiah? I'm listening. Uh, yeah, okay. Right, let's find mm -hmm. oh, Isaiah. Speak Arabic. No. No, 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 no. Because the Old Testament, the, the prophets in the Old Testament, 
never knew anything about Jesus being God or equal to Almighty God. Almighty God never said he's trying God. Are you listening? I'm listening now. Good. Uh, and you won't interrupt until I get to the end. No, no, get, it. This little, get to the end. Uh, this is Isaiah, who, who lived 500 years before uh, Jesus was born. Okay. And he says, uh, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, um, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, uh, establishing it and holding it with justice and righteousness from that time and forever. So he is called you, to be called Mighty God. No, do you know where quoting for Isaiah, Isaiah 9 6? Do you understand that verse? Do you know that? Wait, yeah, let me talk now. No, 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 it's not clear. Let me tell you what. It's like it's vast. clear to me. No, let, no it's not clear to you. Let me tell you. You know why it's not clear to you? It says, you know, what Isaiah a, a, says, unto a, us a, a son is born, unto un us a, ch a, a, a child is born, unto us a son is given, yeah. and he will be called wonderful count, everlasting father, mighty God. Okay, show me. You know, you know say he will be called. And uh, no, 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 okay. There will be okay, no he, end. Madam, he will be called. Huh? Mighty God, everlasting Father. Show me a single verse in the Bible where Jesus was called Mighty God, everlasting Father. Show me, I'll become a Christian. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait. Uh, you just saw it's Muhammadiyam. I mean, I mean, okay, uh, okay, okay. okay. I could tell Muhammadiyam. No, no, no. We don't. We're not checking something. So, uh, where, yeah. Sorry. Uh, where, you you want to know where? No. The verse said he will be called. Jesus says, "Are you the son no, no, of God?" No, no. No. Listen to me. As I nine six says, he will be called. Show me a verse in the Bible why Jesus is called when he was on the earth and after he left his world. Anybody called him Mighty God, no, Everlasting no, Father. One. No, don't go John 1. No, no, you're not answering it. No, John 1. In the beginning was the word. No. The beginning was the word. That's not John 1. 1. It was with God. The, that is Jesus' okay, okay, wait, okay. word. The, the word wait, wait, wait. was yeah. God. You're, you're not fighting. He was with God in the beginning. <laughs> Through him all things were made. He's our creator. And without him was nothing made that was made. Yeah. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. Yeah. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness um, uh, has not understood it. That's marvelous. Yeah. Um, the king who was sent from God. Yeah. Um, so, so, um, he, Jesus was in the world, and through him the world was made. Uh, the world, but the world did not recognize him as you don't. Okay. Uh, this, this, this is perfectly correct. Can you, okay. He came uh, to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him as you are not. So he's quite correct. Yet to all who did received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of light, uh, children um, born and not of natural descent, uh, nor human. Okay, could you stop there for a while? Yeah. The word became flesh. Okay. So God the Son became flesh. Okay, wait a minute. And made his dwelling among us. Okay. Uh, we have sent his glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Yeah. Uh, so he, okay, so what I'm saying. It's all talking about Jesus. But, no, can you hear me now? I, I listen to you. Can you hear me now? First, he went to Isaiah 9 6. Isaiah 9 6 yes. said he will be called, as he said, everlasting Father, mighty God. Uh, mighty now, God. Okay, wait. I said to you, he, but you're not listening. Amanda, you, can't, you don't listen, Madam. You don't listen. I listen to you. There is nowhere in the Bible why Jesus is, was called. Yeah, he said he will be called. He's never been called mighty, mighty God, everlasting Father. Nowhere in the Bible. You can't find it. As you show me, you can't, it's not there. So that verse, as I 9 6, is not talking about Jesus, but King Hezekiah. Now you go to John 1 1. Let's go to John 1 1. In John 1 1. John 1. Hezekiah. Yeah, Hezekiah. Look, let's go to John 1 1. Who is, who is, who is, who is being called Mighty God in the Bible. Uh, on to his, uh, no, we have to reply. No, let me, you have to reply, John. Let me finish first. Let me finish, madam. Uh, you're not, was but you are not mighty God. But what show me? He said that verse said he will be called. Was Jesus called mighty God, everlasting father in the Bible? And if show me any verse, don't digress. Yes. Um, no, don't digress. Show uh, me any verse. Paulette says to Jesus at his uh, this trial, woman is difficult. <laughs> Tell us, are you the you don't reply. 
the Son of God, that's the word, made flesh. You're not, and Jesus sorry. says, yes, it is as you say. You're, you're... And his whole life depended on this. Uh, because if he'd said, no, you got it wrong, he wouldn't have been crucified. Uh, as I say, you're going to you're, you're, you're you're everywhere. You're not listening. I think it's, a, it's not... You're uh... not listening, are you? No, I've been listening, but you're not addressing it. Why are you listening? You're not listening, Pete. Because you're not understanding. No, as I have no, as I as I nine six well, quoted it. Jesus said that many people okay, let's go to John one one. Okay, let's go to John one. Say like. Okay, you quoted John, John one, one, one one. Let's go to John one because as I nine six, uh, John 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 one one is uh, in the beginning. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning. I don't want to. Wait. In the beginning. Okay. In the beginning was the word. If they are filming this video. Okay. In the beginning. Okay. Uh, so you were talking your rubbish. So I uh, actually say. Yeah. I see you say the woman is going, this is the thing. They haven't studied their Bible. As I 9 6, yeah, for until us a child is born, until us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulder, and he'll be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. You see, this verse has got nothing to do with Jesus, my Christians. It has nothing to do with Jesus. Jesus never said he's God, never said what he be. He's nowhere in your Bible, nowhere. He was a Muslim. He submitted with the Almighty God, Allah. Now it's nowhere in the Bible. That's what we the Muslims are telling you. Nowhere in your Bible. Yeah, Jesus was the Messiah sent to the children of Israel. As I 9, 6, a popular verse, they say he will be called. There is nowhere in the Bible, nowhere. Jesus was never called everlasting father, mighty God. Yes. Yeah, only Almighty God is called that. In the Bible, if you read the Bible, it said that Jesus is seated at the right hand of the mighty God. In the Bible, in the uh, uh, Gospel of uh, Luke, chapter number two, uh, 22, it says that, and we see that he, Jesus, that the Son of Man, is seated at the right hand of the, of the mighty God in heaven. So I can see we we are just inviting to the religion of all the prophets with Islam. Islam simply means submit to your will to Almighty God Allah and not associate any partners with Him. That is why in the Quran, it says, in the Quran, is it in uh, Surah Al Imran 36, it says, Say, so, oh people, that book. Say, so, oh Jews and, Jews and Christians, that come to common terms as between us and us and you. Allah, 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 Allah. That we worship none but Allah. That we associate no partners with Him. That we are not from among ourselves. Lots of patrons are not Allah, for Allah. But if they turn away, for Kulu Sadu, then bear, business, bear witness, they are now Muslim, they were Muslim, bound to Allah's will. Now, the Islam, the concept of God in Islam, if you want to know about this, you go to the Quran, has got 100, is a translation in English. The Quran is in Arabic, 100%. No addition, no deletion. 100% word of Allah. So, this is a translation of the Quran, has got 114. Surahs, you call it chapters. If you want to know about the concept of God, you go to the 112 surah. It's called 112 chapter, which is called Surah Ikhlas. It says, Kul hu Allahu ahad. Say he's Allah, the one, Allah who summoned. Allah, upon whom all de depend. Allah, the absolute eternal. Allah who is self sufficient. Who is not in need of anybody. Lam yalid wa lam yalid. He begets not, nor is he begotten. Wa kullahu kufan ad. And there is nothing unto like him. And in your Bible, is there. If you read your Bible, in the book of Exodus, chapter number 9, verse number 14, God said in your Bible that you may know that there is none like me in all the world. Let me kulla hu kufu not. That is not unto like him. Jesus was a Muslim. All the prophets came with that single message, which is Tawheed. You read the God's Quran. It is mentioned. Allah said it is mentioned in Surah al anbiya chapter number 21. Verse number 25, Allah is speaking to Prophet Muhammad. He said, not a messenger did we, Allah, send before you, O Muhammad, without this inspiration sent by us to him that there is no God but Allah, but I, therefore worship and serve me alone. You understand? Not a single verse in the Bible, as I said, where Jesus claimed to be God. Jesus said, worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Why can't you read the Bible? Is there in Gospel of Matthew, Gospel of Matthew, chapter number four, verse number ten. Worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. This same message repeated in the Gospel of Luke, chapter number four, verse number eight. Worship the Lord your God and serve only Him. 
is there. Jesus said, worship Almighty God, Allah, Almighty God, not him. Not a single verse I said in the Bible. I've been coming here for nearly six years now. Anyone who can show me a verse, a clear, unambiguous, emphatic verse from the Bible, why Jesus said, I am God, worship me, I'll become a Muslim. If you, we can go to the Quran, Allah said, is, is Allah, worship me. But it's not in the Bible. How could Jesus be God? When the, he never said his God worship me. You read the Bible. If you read the God's Quran, you go to Surah Taha, chapter number 20, verse number 14, 1 4. Allah said, Indeed, I am Allah. Indeed, Allah said, Indeed, I am Allah. There is no deity, there is no God except me. So worship me and establish prayers for my remembrance in the Quran. Brothers and sisters, we are just inviting you to the religion of all the prophets. All the prophets were Muslims. All of them, including Jesus. The children of Israel. All the prophets in the Old Testament. The central message was Tawheed, oneness of God. They all bow down to Almighty God, Allah. But Christians are going to ambiguous verses. When I ask them, you know, Jesus in the Bible makes a distinction between him and Almighty God. How can he be God? Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse number 31. Jesus said, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father, but I do as the Father has commanded me. So if Jesus was commanded, what did you do? How can it be God? Almighty God cannot be commanded. Follow me in your Bible. In Gospel of John, chapter number 4, verse number 22. In your Bible, Jesus said, but the hour is coming, and now is when the true worshippers worship the Father, for the Father seeks such to worship him. The true worshippers, according to Jesus, was the Almighty God Allah. In your, it's only in your Bible, it's there. You read the Bible, John 17, 3. He said, Jesus is God. John 17, 3 is clear, emphatic. Jesus said, and this is eternal life. This is eternal life. And they, that they might know that you are the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you, whom you have sent. So if he said Jesus is God, he's a false God. But according to Jesus, the only true God is Almighty God. And also in the Old Testament. Why is it that Christians can go to the Old Testament? If you want to know about the attributes of God, if you want to know about the prophets, you have to go to the Old Testament. Now, what did Almighty God in the Old Testament say about himself? Several verses about his oneness, about his uniqueness. You read the Bible in the book of Isaiah, chapter uh, 43, 10 to 11. In your Bible, God said, before me, no God was formed, no sad there be any after me. I am the Lord besides me. There is no savior. You said Jesus is your savior. In the Old Testament, God said, besides him, there is no savior. Unless you are telling me there are two gods. Go to the Old Testament and go to the New Testament. You read the Bible? Your Bible. In the book of Exodus, chapter 20, 3 to 5. Your God said, in the Old Testament, that you said, you believe it, said, you shall have no other gods besides me. You shall not make for yourself a graven image or any light of anything that is in he heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I, the Lord your God, I'm a jealous God. This is clear. But you are worshipping Jesus. Why? Because you are following Paul. Paul the imposter who never met Jesus. Who was in one of the disciples of Jesus. This Paul came and corrupted the teachings of Jesus Christ is on him. So are you upholding Christianity? That's why Jesus said, in the after, he would tell, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evil doers. Because he never said he is God. He never said, worship me. Paul is the one who said in Philippians, Philippians 2.10, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and on the earth. You are following Paul. But in the Old Testament, nowhere, not a single verse. So as I said, several verses in, in your Bible, Jesus makes a distinction but him and Almighty God. So, yeah, yeah. So, he cannot be God. You read the Bible in the Gospel of John, chapter number 8, verse number 14. Jesus said to the enemies, Jesus said to his enemies, but now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth with your heart from God. Distinction, a man. How can he be God? Emphatic. You can read your Bible again in the Gospel of John, chapter number 8, verse number 42. Jesus said that if God were your father, if God were your father, you would love me, for I have come here from God. I have not come on my own. God sent me. Who sent Jesus? God. Are you the two gods? 
this is ridiculous you are being brainwashed by the church fathers yeah jesus you see look look at the bibles the quran is only one quran 114 surahs sorry see? It's a translation, 114 surahs is there. 6,236 verses. No addition, no deletion. 100% word of God, Allah. Well, look at the Bible. Look, how many Bibles are there? They are not the same. What is the original? No original. That's why, you see, the Bible is replete with additions, deletions, and contradictions. So, brothers and sisters, uh, try, you know, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God. It's Islam, as I said. Islam is grossly misrepresented by the media. Don't listen to the media. Don't listen to uh, the hate preachers like Jay Smith or Hartun or these guys who come here just to attack Islam. Try and get a copy of the Quran, read it for your salvation. Because worship a human being, worshiping anything apart from Almighty God, Allah, is shirk. And Allah, associate partners, he will forgive any sin any other sin minor sin to whom he wills but the sin of associating partners with him worshiping anybody anything apart from him is a major sin and if you die on that you go to hellfire so idolatry doesn't only mean worshiping like uh, an idol anything that you worship whether in your mind a human being an object is apart from almighty god the creator is uh, idolatry so brothers and sisters i haven't been here for two years two two weeks now inshallah i'm here now waiting for anyone to come and debate with me on this oneness of god or who is the creator so if you look at our videos here this is this is the eye and all these preachers here they haven't studied their bible i've been studying the bible for more than 10 years now that is why when they see me i pull the bible out they freak out they will go to other dais but they will never come to me for a proper debate. So, wakra dawana, walhamdulillahi, rabbi alameen. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. What's your name? Abdul Qadir. Abdul Qadir, Muhammad Lameen. Allahu Akbar.